I'm going to go. I think you can hear me. I have my, my, I have, yeah, you can hear me. Okay. So cat chancellor, Sampar connection, start samparconnection.com coming to you live from Taos, New Mexico. I've recently moved from Florida to New Mexico. I'm currently in my mom's house here. I'm going to go. I think you can hear me. I am, um, I have, I am in her, my mother's studio. This is her art studio. She is a um, colonial arts artist. And um, I'm learning some of the things that, that she does. And um, I've, I've entered some, some uh, exhibits. But I kind of set up a little stamp room here because I still, I still love my stamping. And I wanted to go ahead and come back online and kind of share with you that, hey, here I am, Taos, New Mexico. Hope everyone is doing well. And that um, uh, you're all getting your shots. I got mine. Um, life is changing a little bit, but um, uh, not, you know, not so much that uh, um, that is really uh, disconcerting, I guess. Um, Miss you a lot so um, hopefully you'll enjoy what I have to share so while I was home I did a card um, using one of my fancy folds I will share the link but I, I did a card for a friend that was getting married well my mother wanted me to do an, an, a couple of cards for some of uh, our nieces and nephews as a congratulatory card because they're graduating from high school so here's the card I made I just want to show you um, how this fancy fold can be used to make really a, a fun card and um, kind of how how I put it together. Um, I took the and let me just show you the the um, the sets that I used over here. I used the um, Hey Birthday Chick and I used the Art Gallery. I love 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 um, this die that says uh, Just Want to Say. Um, so I used that and then I used the um, birthday chicks and I also used um, the dies from the uh, Pierce Blooms and this set is going to be it's in the current catalog and it's going to be in the new catalog but what's really neat about this is that I had some old DSP paper that I used now because I was moving I didn't have a lot I I, most of my craft rooms in storage, so I couldn't bring a lot with me, but I did have um, DSP from from celebrations. So I was able to cut these flowers out and use them in uh, in a flower design that I'm going to show you that I'm going to show you right here. Here's the um, this is the, uh, the feminine version, let me say, and then here's the masculine version um, that I made. So there were those two right there. And then um, I kind of opened that up and shared that with you. And then I, um, I did the same thing, only this one opens up long ways. So you can just kind of hang it that way. And I left a little placard here for, um, for my mom to put a sentiment. And then I kind of use this middle, middle part just for some, some fun, for those uh, fun wobbles. And then for some of these, um, for some of these images here now i really love um you know this this set right here my hey chick because you can use it not only for birthdays okay so it's a it's a birthday set but you don't have to use it for birthdays i kind of cut out a lot of a lot of pieces and i think all my little pieces are in here and I colored them using my uh, colored pencils. Um, and then I kind of cut this one apart because this one, this one comes together like that. And I cut that apart because I'm going to use that kind of separately. And then um, I kind of, uh, you know, colored my birds. Now, another thing I did is in this set right here, there is an itty bitty congratulations. And this is the Woodland Wonders. I took that and I just want to show you how you can change your paper just from plain paper to to uh, kind of a congratulatory paper. I took this and I cut it in a or I, I kind of formed it in a half circle. And then I used just plain paper 
right? And then I went ahead and I stamped it around these little balloons. So this is not how, how the paper came, you know, was the original paper. It's very plain, but I went ahead and I, I kind of, you know, you can use these wonderful, uh, photopolymer stamps you can bend them and then you can go ahead and kind of I stamped around to kind of pop my paper now I did the same thing and let me show you this one because this one isn't finished but I want to show you how um, I did that with another stamp uh, stamp set right here I'm thinking of you and then I did it here using um a light blue and the color that I used was seaside spray and this is going to be retiring because it's one of the in colors and I did the same thing kind of in between and if you can kind of see right here I did the same thing there so it really kind of changes changes your paper up a little bit to kind of um, you know match the the mood of what you're trying to do um, I cut my um, I stamped my my little uh, hens here, my uh, chicken and hens, my hey birthday chicks. I stamped those uh, using my stamparatus with stays on ink on watercolor paper. That is the best way you can get the the best image, and you can ensure that that you get good a good dark ink. Um, mine and then I used I, I used the die cuts there's die cuts that come with this I use the die cuts and cut them out um, after after I colored them using the um, the watercolor pencils so there you go cat chancellor stamp art connection stamp art connection um, dot com uh, thank you so much for joining me and um, I'm glad you're all out there. I hope you enjoyed just our video. Just wanted to get back out there and say, hey. So please uh, disregard the other vi video. Didn't have any noise. I'm going to have to um, delete it. But uh, this one, um, this one has sound. <laughs> so take care and blessings, cat.